And I've been joined by Catherine. Hello. So, hello, Catherine. Can you just show us your, your name badge? Sure. Very long name, but... That's fine. Thank you very much. Right. Can you just tell us uh, who you work for and a little bit about yourself? Yes. Hi. Um, I work actually here at the, the San Pao Art Nouveau site. I'm projects coordinator. And uh, I'm here with, with GWOPA uh, because I'm very excited about uh, having this international secretary of GWOPA here at San Pao as part of an international hub of uh, UN and regional organizations uh, at San Pao. What, what other organizations are, are based here apart from GWOPA? Yes, well, we have here um, a site that is uh, concentrating UN organizations like uh, United Nations University, Institute on Globalization and Mobility and Culture, um, the European Forest Institute Office, Policy Advice Group, um, a UN Habitat Office on um, City Resilience Profiling, um, the World Health Organization Office on Healthcare System Financing. It's really uh, just getting off the ground now, and we're, we're very excited that uh, GWAPA is part of the the first activities. Yes, yeah, so you're all very lucky to, to have offices in a, in a beautiful city, but not just a beautiful city, but in the in the grounds of uh, San Pao Hospital, which is a, a world heritage site. It is, indeed. In fact, um, it's a very unique project for a very unique place. This uh, hospital uh, was a hospital uh, 100 years ago, built uh, by a contemporary of Antoni Gaudi, an architect named Dominic Montaner. And, uh, operated as a hospital until just a few years ago when we started this project to renovate it and uh, convert it into this uh, hub of international in organizations. Yes, yeah, I've noticed there's a lot of building work going on. When, when is it expected to be complete? Well, um, we're actually going to inaugurate the, the first phase, the most important phase of the restoration with six of the 12 buildings completed and the landscaping. Uh, as well as a geothermal energy system, um, also an open area garden and, and patio. That's going to happen in February of 2014. So we're actually on a countdown. Um, as you can see, this particular building is, is already in operation and we're just uh, trimming the ground, so to speak, and getting things all set up for the big event uh, early next year. Well, thank you very much for your time and, and thank you very much for allowing us to, to make use of this well, wonderful building. Well, thank you to all of you and Jiwopa because we're really, really excited about having them here. Thank you very much.